What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit deeper dive into the SoFi stock. The short interest right now, guys, is getting out of control. SoFi is being shorted at the highest level of all of 2021. We're going to go into details of why this is happening and what you should be doing exactly. As you guys can see, just four days ago, I made a video saying SoFi stock short interest is insane. The short interest was right around 8 to 9% four days ago. And as you guys can see in the title of my video on the thumbnail, 122,000 calls did expire worthless. Now, I believe we are not in that you know call expiration uh, ordeal right now. I think it has to do with different things. And I'm going to show you exactly how high the short interest is right now. And if you find any of this information useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's try and get the channel past 10,000 subscribers. We are one of the top YouTube channels covering the SoFi stock because we've been covering this bad boy for five months. This is a long-term investment, guys. And I'm telling you right now, we are at the last mile of the accumulation phase before we get into 2022. Be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get this video past 1,500 likes. And be sure to drop a comment. Are you buying SoFi stock this week? Let's get into the video. All right, guys, take a look at this. On market beat right here, we can see the last record of the short interest was on November 30th, and it was right around 8%, okay? We can see 8% right here on the short interest. That is right around 45 million shares. And we can also see on Fintel, the last uh, short interest update was right around 7.5%. And we also have market watch right here. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can see the short interest was right around 8% as of November 30th as well. So these updates have not come in in over a couple of weeks on these, you know, uh, websites that, you know, everyone has access to. So taking a look at stock twits right here, we have a uh, jaded bull on the platform and he has access to, you know, a little bit of data algorithms that, you know, can track the short interest being updated. And I'm 100% positive that this is the SoFi stock we're looking at right here. We're going to back it up. As you guys can see, the short interest is now up to 12.9%. Remember, guys, those other updates we just seen on Market Watch, Market Beat, and Fintel, uh, the short interest was right around, you know, 40 to 50 million shares, which is right around 8%. So this is the SoFi stock right now. Short interest is going up faster and faster every single day and week as we get closer and closer, you know, to these massive catalysts. So a lot of people may think that the SoFi stock is being shorted this week because of, you know, the student loans uh, that just got uh, extended out, which I just did a update in my last video. That may be a possibility, but I think there is other reasons why the short interest is up to this level right now. Remember guys, this is a large cap. You know, we're talking over $10 billion in market cap. It's much different than those micro and small caps, you know, under a billion dollars. Those companies can be shorted all the way to the ground, you know, like a GameStop where short interest gets over 50%, etc. And you can see exactly what I'm talking about. These are the most shorted names in the entire stock market. You know, we have Lemonade, Beyond Me, Blink, Tattooed Chef, Corsair, and all of these are, you know, 50, 40, and 30%. Dozens and dozens of companies in the 30% uh, range, but understand SoFi is much larger than a lot of these companies right now. I mean, the floats are absolutely tiny guys. I mean, SoFi has a float of around, you know, 600 to 700 million shares right now. So these are much smaller companies. Uh, five to 10 of these companies could equal, you know, SoFi's market cap alone. So what I'm trying to explain is 13% short interest on a company as large as SoFi is massive right now, guys. And I'm telling you right now, the reason I believe this stock is being shorted to these high of levels this late you know, as the company has, you know, been public on the market for over a year now, it's because of that bank charter application, okay? I believe right now the big money is shorting the SoFi stock to continue to accumulate this stock at lower levels, especially when retail traders continue to get shaken out and sell and sell and sell for losses, okay? Now understand, they might get a mini squeeze, 
you know, if they do get that uh, bank charter announcement, they may get squeezed, you know, first thing in the morning, but they're going to cover their shorts immediately. They're going to take that loss and take that hit, you know, on their puts and shorts, but they're going to be accumulating a massive amount of shares, you know, these past couple of weeks. And that will be a larger gain in the end because these guys are most likely going long term. So that bank charter application, in my opinion, it just feels like it's right around the corner, guys. The Super Bowl is in February, and I believe they want to become a 100% digital online bank before that Super Bowl happens, guys. So in my opinion, we could get Bank Charter news in December, which is a week away from ending, and also January. So anywhere in the realm of one to five weeks is a possibility. That is why you're seeing the short interest creep up higher and higher. So in my opinion, it's not because of the open interest on the calls. Remember guys, that last video that I just did for you, there was 122,000 calls expiring in that week. And I just looked at the updated calls for this week and the open interest is actually a less than 50,000. So almost, you know, two and a half times less than 122,000 uh, last week. So I don't think it's the open interest on the calls, guys. I just think it's accumulation happening right now. And we can prove that right now. SoFi Institutional Holdings is over, you know, 43% right now, maybe as high as 45% or higher. They have been accumulating this stock the entire 2021 on red days, sell-offs, FUD, and bad news. So there's tons and tons of institutions that are enjoying loading up at these levels. As you can see, the increased positions is 247 with now 371 institutions buying the SoFi stock, guys. So they've been loading up you know, on this last FUD after the earnings report with Chamas selling, with uh, SoftBank selling, the warrants. This has been a great time for them to increase their short interest on the way down and continue to accumulate this stock. I believe that they are going to continue this pressure until the bank charter uh, gets approved. So the best thing for you to do as a retail investor right now is accumulate once or twice every single week that you can. And once the stock finally approves of a bank charter license, that's the time to be buying in and loading up on longer term calls because that's when you have the confirmation 100%. Tons and tons of calls have been you know, getting cleaned out these past couple of months because you're not gonna bust through that short interest of 80 million shares on the SoFi stock right now. And as you guys can see, I have a little bit of buying power right here, $9,800. What I like to do right now, I like to try and get as close to the bank charter as I possibly can before I continue to buy up these dips. So right now, I'm pretty much buying you know every single Friday once per week. That's why I tell people either buy once per week or once every two weeks. Of course, the market is closed this Friday, but I'm saying just try to buy once per week, guys. That's the best thing you can do right now, accumulating shares. It's better to go all in on the shares right now than accumulating options at a heavy volume. I personally recommend on my Patreon for nobody to go over you know, 10 to 20% of options right now if you want to be buying options right now you got to be going out longer duration you know something like you know april or further you know five months out from now so you can get that bank charter license 100 percent uh confirmed in your option and guys there's been tons and tons of updates on the twitter uh coming out from these uh occ updates with the bank charter license if you want to get more information on the occ website just put in this uh combination number right here three two zero Five five nine, and you'll get more details on the SoFi Interim Bank uh, National Association Bank Charter License. You can see right here the Golden Pacific acquisition is uh, looking pretty strong right now. They have the updates coming in with SoFi. Uh, it's just a matter of time, guys. You have to be patient. There's final steps to happen on this bank charter license, but I believe we are extremely close. And as you guys can see, the big money is accumulating. The short interest is going higher. They are pinning this stock down right now. As you guys can see on my last video, the short interest is right around eight to 9%. We are now up to the 13% level. And if you made it to the end of the video, I wanna say I really do appreciate it. I enjoy doing these videos for you. SoFi stock is gonna be a long-term hold for me. The company is doing amazing things. The management is extremely strong. Even though that the student loans are getting pushed out, we know that SoFi is going to pivot hard and go into a different direction with other business segments. The company is firing on all cylinders. Q4 is expected to have 50 to 60% growth. I'm extremely bullish on the member growth heading our way for Q4 uh, once those numbers come out. I believe they'll come out around uh, February. So guys, as you guys can see, the short interest is going higher and higher. The best thing you can do is accumulate more and more shares 
while the stock just sits around and gets pinned for no reason. We already know that there's eight analysts recommending this stock with $24 price target. That's literally 70% upside from the levels right now. So you don't even have one analyst bearish on the stock, guys. This is going to take time. This stock can uh, definitely uh, make you extremely successful later on in your life. I believe this is going to be a great five-year hold, but we can still get amazing gains heading into 2022. I'm going to continue to stick to my price targets of $30 or higher with a bank charter license and $55 or higher by the end of 2022 once we get approved for that license. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.